Today I'll be demonstrating the ease of use of Near Me for Group Calls. Once logged into the Attend Anywhere platform, group waiting areas are clearly marked and you'll see an indication of waiting callers. Before launching your call, there are a couple of choices you can make. Whether you want a chat available during the session and, if specially enabled, you can choose whether or not your callers will see the other callers' full names or just initials. The default is initials and I don't have the option to change that in this waiting area. Any changes have to be made prior to starting the call. Pre-call features such as sending out a meeting link by text or email are available to you, just as they are in a standard waiting area. Once I'm ready to start the meeting, I click the launch call button. It's worth noting, until you see callers in your call queue, you won't be able to start the meeting. The lobby, showing my waiting callers, is now visible to the right. I can admit individuals, drop individuals or let everyone in. Before I let callers in from the lobby, I could rename any breakout rooms I wish to use later. Time to let the callers in. Should callers arrive after that, you'll also see them appear in the lobby. In addition, there's an on-screen alert that appears at the top of your call screen. If you've closed the participant pane, you'll see a red dot appear on the People button. Click the People button to reveal the participant pane. Again, you can admit them, ignore them, or drop their call if they're not welcome. Call controls will be familiar to users of standard Near Me waiting areas and most other video calling software. Your caller's controls are almost the same as yours, except they're not able to share their desktops, so don't have that button. Your caller's microphones will be automatically muted when you let them into your group call. The raise hand button allows providers or callers to indicate they wish to speak. When one of your callers uses this button, you'll see a brief on-screen message as well as the raised hand. You have the ability to share your screen with your callers. For confidentiality, you should not share your entire screen. We'd suggest sharing other browser tabs is the best option and you'll be able to share that tab's audio too. See our website for a specific guide on PowerPoint sharing. The next button opens the chat panel. If enabled for your waiting area, text chat can be sent to the whole group or individuals. Callers can initiate chat to the whole group, but at present can't initiate private chat with their providers. The chat is wiped at the end of your session. To send a message to the group, choose everyone from the send to menu. For a private message, choose the individual's name. To switch from the chat side panel to the people panel, just use the people button. The More button gives additional controls. They're fairly self-explanatory. If you use the very handy Mute All control, as with individually muting a caller, your callers will have to unmute themselves. Your Callers More button only gives them the self-view, spotlight speaker and change background controls. Unlike a provider, although a caller can blur the background, they can't upload and use another image. If you'd like to use breakout rooms with your group, they can be accessed by clicking Rooms in the People panel or by the Rooms control within the More button selection. If you don't want to leave callers without a provider present, you're going to require more than one provider in your call and have one moved to a breakout room before you add any callers to it. Moving callers between the main group and breakout rooms is simple. Start with the Move Callers button, choose your caller from the scrollable list, and choose a room for them to be moved to. Do that multiple times if you wish, and when ready to send folk off, use the Move Callers Now button.
The arrows by a breakout room's name allows you to see the room's occupants. The join button allows you to join a breakout room and the leave button to return to the main group. To return all callers in a room back to the main group, use the Clear This Room button, found in the Breakout Room's three-dot menu. If your caller's microphone or camera is live, you can mute it here. For your caller's privacy, you can't unmute them yourself. Pin to stage makes that caller fill your screen. If you have more than one camera, microphone or audio output available to you, you can swap between them using the control cog found at the top of your call screen. The only things left to show are the options for ending a call. If there are two or more providers in a call and you want to leave but let the call continue, you can use the Leave the Call at Just Me button. If you're the sole provider, using the Leave button will allow the group call to run for two minutes after you leave it, but it will then automatically end after the two minutes unless you or another provider returns to the call within that time. To end the call for all participants, Use the End Call for Everyone button.